Do not undertake the exercises illustrated in this video without prior medical advice. Hi, welcome to the VON Smart Seniors Maintaining Active Roles Together exercise program. We're happy that you've joined us today. I have just a couple reminders for you. Find a safe place to exercise. Make sure you have a sturdy chair to use during the exercises. Make sure your footwear, it has some proper foot support. Uh, have some water nearby. And make sure you only do what you feel safe and comfortable to do. Have fun. We will be using resistance bands in this video. Please check your band before using it. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Allie. Together we're going to be doing our warm up and joining us today will be some of our very smart team. I hope you enjoy our class. I'm just starting with a gentle side to side. Good. And we're going to take some deep breaths here. If you want to raise your arms and breathe in and out. Good. And again. Let's go one more. Excellent. Placing those feet about hip width apart. We're just going to do a nice shoulder roll. Big round to the back. Keep breathing nice and big. Let's get warmed up. One more here. Excellent. Now we're just going to bring that hand to the shoulder. We're going to circle those elbows forward. Pretty big range of motion here. Remember, do what's comfortable. Know your limits. Good. And changing sides. Same thing on the other side. Now we're going to circle those hands, circle those hands, loosen up that wrist area. Good. Let's go the other way now. Good job. Now we're going to go into a little heel dig here. So we're just going to dig our heels with just a gentle arm movement. Just like we're taking a walk in the park. It's a beautiful day. Excellent. Let's do two more each side. Now we're going to turn it into side tap. My arms are still moving. Good job. And let's tap now behind us. Back, back. Perfect. Now we're going to bring our knees up nice and high. You can hang on to your chair here for stability. Or you can just try to tap that knee that comes up. Good. Excellent job. Let's do one more each side. And now we're going to do a nice big arm swing. Let's get those shoulders going. Good. Two more each. Perfect going to quickly stretch here. Just a quick one. And while you're stretching, look in the opposite direction. Stretch that neck out. And change sides. Good. That feels good. Now we're going to bring those knees up again. Still tapping that knee.
Excellent. And nice big arm swings again right here. Two more each side. This time we're going to try some running arms. Oh yeah. Let's run a little bit faster. Perfect. We're going to raise those knees one more time. Excellent, two more each. Perfect, running arms. Yeah, a little bit faster. Woo, feels good. Good job, man, march. Good. We're gonna move just a little bit forward. And back. Good. So two more. One more each. Good. And side, side, side. Good. You got it. combine it's a front and a side it's front front side side again front front side side one more March excellent job hello everybody my name is Donna I will be doing the cardio segment of your class please make sure to take this at your own pace and if you need to sit to do any of these moves please feel free to do so. This is your workout, so you do what you need to do for it. So we're just tapping those toes to the front, and we're gonna tap the toes to the side. So if the arms wanna swing, let them swing. I'm standing beside my chair, but that way you can see what my feet are doing. If you're standing behind your chair, you've got it for balance, you might wanna rest those hands just on the back of the chair. We're now going to change that tap, so we're going to tap the foot behind. We're staying as tall as we can through this move. And we're going to come to a march. Good. We're going to slow this march down. We're going to come a little higher. And we're going to reach those hands up, so we're climbing our ladder. And drop those arms down. Let's bring it back down to a march. Now we're going to march forward. Then we're going to march backwards. Marching to the front. So we're just building a little routine. We're marching backwards. One more practice. Forward. And march it back. Good, we're gonna go back to that ladder climb. Ready? And climb that ladder. And drop those arms, let's march forward. And march backwards. Marching forward. So you might not have as much room as I do, and that's fine, you take smaller steps, going backwards. Now hold on here, we're gonna march those feet out wide. 
bring them in. Go wide, march in. Going wide, coming in. Going wide, and marching in. So we're gonna change this to one out, one in. So it's gonna go out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. Adding arms. So we're gonna pretend that the arm is like a gate and there's a hinge at the top and there's a hinge at the bottom. So we have to control that hinge at the bottom. And as we step out, we hinge it open and we close it. We open it and we close it. And we open it and we close it. And let's march in place. So remember those moves. So we're gonna go back to climbing that ladder. Ready? Climbing up. And we're gonna march forward. Out, out, in, in. Remember that? We'll do this a couple of times. Then we're gonna go backwards. Out, out, in, in. March it forward. Out, out, in, in. March backwards. Out, out, in, in. Marching forward. Out, out, in, in. And it doesn't matter which foot leads, which hand leads, going backwards. Out, out, in, in. And march those feet. All right, we're gonna go back to that ladder climb. Ready, go. Climbing that ladder. Now, marching to the front, here we go. Out, out, in, in. March it backwards. Keep those elbow hinges nice and tight to the waist. Out, out, in, in. March it forward. Out, out, in, in. Going backwards. Out, out, in, in. And let's march those feet. Nicely done. Let's change this to a step tap, side to side. So if those arms want to go, you let them go. So we're adding on to our little routine. So we're gonna do two steps. One, two, other way. So let's step together, step and tap. Step together, step and tap. So the arms for this are going to draw a little circle and a little circle the other way. So if your shoulders don't like moving that way, we can shorten it and do it more from the elbow or the hand. If your shoulders are good and they like to move, then let that open that up a little bit more. So we're going to do one more and back to the step tap side to side. So the double step tap is what we're adding. Let's bring it back to the march. Right here, marching, climbing that ladder. Good job, let's march it to the front. Two, three, out, out, in, in. March it backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Out, out, in, in. March it forward. And out, out, in, in. March it backwards. Last time. Out, out, in, in. Now, step, tap, single. Two steps, one, two, oh my gosh, I pointed one way and traveled the other way, that's okay. So this was that move that we added on, remember? We got two more here, one more. Step tap, single side to side, nice job. 
Now, if you find yourself behind that chair, yeah, we're adding on some more. So you can rest your fingertips on the back of the chair if you like. We're gonna march those feet and then we're gonna squeeze the heel into the bump. So it's a little squeeze in. If you're not using the chair or if you aren't leaning on it too much, we can do one arm at a time. So that way you can always have one arm, one hand resting on that chair. And keeping that elbow once again tight to the ribs. And let's march those feet. Nice job. Guess what? We're going to go back and climb that ladder again. So we're climbing up that ladder. So this is move number one from the top. We're starting right at the beginning. And let's march it to the front. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Out, out, in, in. March backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Out, out, in, in. Once again, it doesn't matter which leg goes first. March forward. Out, out, in, in. Elbows tight. Marching backwards. It's catching myself there. Out, out, in, in. And step tap, side to side. We're adding on that step tap, arms swinging. So let's do our two steps to the side. Other way, other way, other way. Let's do one more. March, little toe tap in front right here. We're gonna add an arm, pushing out. Side to side, push. I'm not giving you much learning time this time. Tap behind you, arm presses forward again. One more time, toe taps to the front, keep pushing front. Keep the shoulders back, even though the arms are going forward. Tap it side to side, right here, push. Tap it to the back, pressing to the front. March it out in place right here. Marching, good. All right, from the top, we can run through this whole thing. Climb the ladder right here. Ready, march it front. Five, six, out, out, in, in, out, out. March it back. Out, out, in, in. Step tap side to side right here. Step tap. Now we're doing the two step with the circle. Whichever way you're stepping, you're stepping. Single, step tap, side to side. Five, six, seven, toe tap to the front, push. Side to side, right here. To the back, to the back, right here. Side to side. And to the front. Nice job, march it out. Think we can condense this down really quick? Nah, we won't do more. But, toe tap. Back to climbing that ladder. March it to the front. Out, out, in, in. March it back. Out, out, in, in. Step tap side to side. Good. Two steps right here. Circle. Other way. Other way. Other way. Good job. March it out. Woo! Nicely done, everybody. Hello, everyone. My name is Andrea, and I'm going to lead us through our cardio cool down. So we're going to start slowing it down a little bit after that cardio. Start by marching on the spot. 
It's a nice, comfortable pace. And if it feels okay, take a step forward and back. Just be mindful of the space that you're in, how much room you have. Marching for three, two, one. Come back to center, keeping with that comfortable march pace. And if it feels okay, add some swimming arms, doing our breath stroke to cool down the shoulders. Last two, last one, excellent. Switch to more of a slow heel dig to the front. Excellent. And if it feels okay, add some shoulder rolls to the front. Switch, roll them back. It's always a good one for our posture. Good, last one. Perfect, come back to center and move it into more of a side step. Stepping from one side, feet together, other side. Perfect, let's add some arms again. So hands down at our sides to start. Tap the opposite shoulder. And if you feel more comfortable with your feet flat on the ground, it's always an option as well. For another three, two, one. Perfect. Coming back to center. Let's rest those feet on the ground. If you want, you can add a bit of a sway. We'll bring our hands up. Start with some wrist circles going one direction. Switch directions. Good, and leave those hands up, but just focus on the fingers, touching each finger to the thumb. Good, switch directions. Last time through. Good, wiggle the fingers out. Let's take a seat for the next few. So sitting nice and tall, both feet flat on the ground, equal weight on both hips. Starting with our Charleston for that coordination, getting our brain as well as our bodies involved. Going at your own pace. Good. Try just the left leg. Just the right. One more time each way. Both feet together again. Let's do both at the same time. And if you like, you can add some hands. Perfect. Bring it back to center. Give it a bit of a shake out. Still sitting tall. Start with one leg. Kick your foot up. Bring it down. Up and down. Good. One more and hold it at the top for three, two, one, bring it down, other side. Last one, and again, hold for three, two, one, bring it down. Last move for our cool down, stick one foot up, ankle circle. Switch direction. Good, bring it down, other side, ankle circle. Switch direction. Perfect. Bring that foot down for good measure. Let's do one deep breath in and out. Excellent work. Hi, welcome to the strength portion. My name's Rita. I'm using the TheraBand. Please check it over before you start. Make sure there's no rips 
tears, any holes, be ready to uh, start standing if you can. If you need to be seated, please do. We're going to start off with some back exercises, grabbing the band in the middle, letting the ends just hang. Arms are straight. You can either start shoulder height or eye level. You're going to take it open. You're going to feel that resistance. You're going to bring it to your sternum, squeezing the shoulder blades together. As you bring it forward, you're still going to control it. Ready? And open to the sternum. Breath out. Reach to the front. Release. Good. Open. And breath out. Good. We're working those back muscles. Good work. Breath out as you're bringing it to the sternum. And let's squeeze it. Good job. Halfway there. Four more. Four. Good. And three. Two more. Good work. Last one. Excellent job. Give that a little shake out. Let's keep the same hold. We're going to do triceps next. So you're going to take your hand to the opposite shoulder. The elbow is back, and you want to feel that resistance at that end. Good, when that arm is straight. You don't want any movement in the shoulder or the wrist. It's all just hinging at the elbow. Take it back for four, three, two, last one. Good work, and let's switch sides. Hand to the opposite shoulder, elbows back, and you're gonna pull it straight arm back with the breath out. Again, adjusting for your resistance. Closer to the middle, more resistance. Closer to the end, less. Let's do four more. Four, three, two, Last one. Good work. Give that a little shake out. Good. We're going to do chest next. So we're going to take the band around the back and have that band at chest level with those palms down, elbows wide. Good. And again, you want to feel that resistance when the hands come to the center. You might have to adjust and once you get going, we're going to start from the eight. Good. We're going to do eight all together. I did just a couple while you were adjusting, I think. Excellent. Let's do four more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Good work. We're going to do biceps next, but we're going to do it seated. So if you can have us on your chair, you're going to start off with your heels down, toes up, hinging at the hips, and taking that band underneath both feet. Underneath the arch, taking the feet flat down, ankles underneath the knees. You can grab a hold of your band. You can either even gather up the ends if that feels more comfortable. Elbows in tight. We're taking hands up to the shoulders. Take it down. Good. And again, adjust that band for the resistance. Want to bring those hands up and then back down. Good. Breath out. And in. Excellent. Let's do four more. Four. Three. Good. Two. And last one. Good job. Give that a little shake out. We're going to do a little on the one side. So adjust your band. You might have to grab right at the end. Palm is down. And just shoulder height. You're not going to feel the resistance on the way down with this one, but make sure you're controlling it and bend at the elbow if it's too difficult to do straight arm. Good. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Good 
good job. Adjust that band to where it feels comfortable. Feeling that resistance at the shoulder height. Good job. And let's stay here for four more. Four, three, two, last one. Good work. Let's give that a little shake out. Give the upper body a break. We're going to take it to behind the thighs. Try to keep the band as flat as you can and cross it in front. Good. Keep it nice and taut, not tight. Shoulders down and back. And let's do some toe lifts. Good. Then some heels up. Excellent. And then we're going to do a little Charleston. If you feel too much tension, you can release some of that tension out. Good. Control it. And in. Two more. Excellent. And last one. Good job. And let's do just the right leg for eight, seven, good, five, one. Switch sides. This is the last exercise with the band. We're going to continue with some strength of lower body without the band. In four, three, two, last one. Good job. Let's set the band aside. If you need a sip of water, please do so. We are going to do the stand to sit next. So nice and tall, ankles underneath the knees. If you need to push off the chair, if you want your arms in front or across in front, we're doing a stand and then a sit back slow. Get up and slow down. Excellent. Good. If you want to have most of your weight through the heels of your feet, we halfway there. We're just four more. Good job. And slow down. And last three. Good. Two more. We're going to stand up for the remainder of the strength, but if you want to catch your breath, little deep breath. Good. When you're ready, nice and tall, please stand behind your chair. Good. Holding on, we're going to do just the right leg, lift out and in. Excellent. Want to stay tall through the torso. And let's do four more. Four. Three, two, and switch sides. Ready, lift, and bring it in. Good work. Let's do four more. Four, three, two, good. Nice and tall. Let's do some calf raises. Up onto the toes, back down. Good job. And four more. Three, two, last one. And let's finish off with a single leg cycle. So single leg, you're going to bring it to the front and then heel to the bottom. So you're getting that full lower body workout here. Excellent. Stay here for four, three, two, last one. Good work. Let's switch sides. Please hold on if you need to and 
Leg to the front, heel to the bottom. Good. Full lower body workout. And let's stay here for four more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Good work. Thank you for joining me for the strength part. Enjoy the rest of the class. Hi, I'm Laurie with the VON Smart program in Barrie, and I'd like to lead you with the balance exercises. To begin with, make sure that you have a chair or something pretty solid in front of you so that you can catch your balance if you should lose it. And we'll start with a big wide step to the side. So step, step, and then together the other side. So you can touch the chair for balance just as you go by. You can hold on with both hands if you need to, or if you're fine without, just let your hands be free. Take a little bit wider step. Okay, very good. Coming back to the center, we'll do the next one where we line the feet up like you're standing on a tightrope. If you find that that is too big of a challenge and you feel like you might fall over, just open the stance up a little bit more. The idea is to challenge what you're normally able to do and try something a little harder. So that might just mean lightening your touch or it might mean balancing completely like this. Just pull up in the body and in the legs to help you. We naturally lose a little bit of our ability to balance each year as we age, so it's very important to do these to maintain that ability and to possibly improve it and definitely to help you avoid future falls. Good, other side. Again, we'll start with the first leg again, standing on one foot. So hold on, or light and touch, or let go. Um, you can do these with a the kitchen sink at home. It's a great idea to do them every day. Some days are harder to balance than others for me, and probably for you. But the the attempt is what's important. If you find it easy to balance. You can challenge your balance by looking from one side to the other or just moving your eyes from one side to make it harder. Other side. You can also move your toe in a figure eight pattern. And if you need to touch down, then just come back. Okay, enjoy the rest of your class and the rest of your day. Thank you. Hi, my name is Mary, and I will be doing the stretching for you today. We're going to start with nice big shoulder rolls. You want to do this slow, nice and big. This here helps to release all the tension, all the stress in the back of your neck. Make sure you're breathing, it's very important. Good job, let's just do that one more time. And then bring the arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale as you bring it down. Do that again with a big breath. And it could just be just to your shoulders and then down. And 
one more time, big, big breath this time. Circle the arms and open up as big as you can across the chest. And make this as big as you can and breathe. Please make sure that you hold the stretches. Very important to hold them 10 to 30 seconds. You want to feel each and every stretch. Bring your arms back with your thumbs up towards the ceiling. You want to feel the stretch in the front of your arms. And then big breath coming up. And exhale and bring it down. Take one arm, doesn't matter which one, and bring it across your body with a nice straight arm, as straight as you can. Place this hand right there and gently if you need it, give yourself a little push. And you want to make sure you feel the stretch right in through your shoulders. Then place this hand on your shoulder, this one below the elbow, and give yourself a gentle push here if you need it. Sit up nice and tall. And open big. Switch to the other side. Arm across and hold this hand right there. Gentle push if you need it. Then place this hand on your shoulder, this hand here. Give yourself a gentle push here if you need it and breathe. And then open big once again. As big as you can. Nice big breath. And then big breath coming back up. Exhale and bring it down. Place your hands right at your inner thighs. Walk your feet out just a little bit. And then give yourself a gentle push to get that nice stretch in through your groin. Sit up nice and tall. Walk your feet in. Take one leg, doesn't matter which one, and bring it forward with your heel on the floor. Hinge from your hips. Come forward with a nice straight back. Place your hands on the opposite leg, supporting yourself. So this leg should be as straight as you can to, in order to feel the stretch in the back of your leg. Keep your breath. And then bring it up. Flex your foot to feel the stretch right in through your calves. Point and flex. Circle your foot around. And then circle in the other direction. Shake out that foot. And then wiggle your toes. Place the foot down, and then slowly slide it forward, keeping your foot as flat to the floor as you can to feel the stretch right in the front of your foot. Good job. Bring it in and switch to the other side. Heel up. Hands on the other leg, supporting yourself. Leg is as straight as you can. Hinge forward from the hips. Nice straight back. Continue to concentrate on your breath. Feel the stretch in the back of your leg. And then come on up and flex your foot. Again, making sure you feel the stretch in the back of your leg and your calves. Point and flex your foot. Circle your foot around and circle in the other direction. Shake out the foot and wiggle your toes. Place the foot down and slowly slide it again forward. Again, keeping your foot as flat to the floor as you can to feel the stretch in the front of your foot. And then slowly bring that leg in. Big breath coming back up. 
exhale, bring it back down. I'm gonna take you into standing. If you prefer to sit, feel free to stay seated. We're gonna stretch the front of your legs. If you're sitting, you're just gonna slide one leg back and then the other to stretch the front of your leg. If you prefer to come into standing with me, hands are on your thighs supporting yourself, hinge forward with a nice straight back and slowly come up one part of the body at a time, nice and slow. Make sure that your head's the last thing to come up. You're going to circle your shoulders as you walk to the back of your chair. <laughs> Continue to concentrate on your breath. Now I'm going to come to the side of the chair so you can see me. I'm going to take one foot and press, bring it back and press the heel down. I'm also going to turn to this side so you can see it a little better. You're going to come up on your toe. You're going to push your butt, I want you to imagine you're going to push your butt cheek to the floor and then roll the hips forward. And you should feel the stretch in the front of your leg, roll all the way down. And keep breathing. Good job. Now switch to the other side, same thing, press the heel down. Stay nice and tall, lift the heel up. Again, imagine you're gonna push your butt cheek to the floor, roll the hips forward, and breathe. Good work. And then bring it back in again. Take a big breath coming up. Exhale as you shake it all the way down. Open and close those fingers. Keep breathing. Wiggle your fingers. Don't forget about your thumbs. And then circle in through your wrists. And then circle in the other direction. Flick your fingers. Touch each fingers to your thumb. Come back and do it again. And then shake out those hands once again. And another big breath, nice and long. Exhale, circle out. Look to one shoulder. Take a big breath, and on your exhale, look who's behind you. Come back to the center, and go to the other shoulder. Big breath, exhale as you look who's behind you. Come back to the center. Look down towards the floor. Slowly, you're going to rock your head side to side, just ever so gently. Then come back to the center and come on up and very slowly look up towards the ceiling if you could, and it should only be a little bit. Just enough to get that stretch in the front of your neck. Come to the center, big breath coming up, Place your hands in prayer, and then slowly come down. And once again, I thank you so much for being here. Good job. Support for the VON Smart Exercise Program has been provided by the North Simcoe Muskoka Local Health Integration Network and the Government of Ontario.